Alright, this morning let's try to talk about uh, sexual orientation real quick. So it took me a good couple of years to find out uh, a way to call my sexual attra attraction from people sexual, this one I coined was pretty good, to pansexual, to now in this post-queer kind of face uh it would be bisexual and um there there are some things coming out um about biphobia because my experience is that i can be attracted to anyone male or female so that there's a name for that and the name is uh, bisexual but um the f one of the first ever times that i went to the gay bar there's a LGBT bar right around the corner, down, down in my street, and the literally the first time I don't think I have, I even lived there at the time. The first time I went there, I had not even entered the premises. We were right outside, starting to get in, chatting, and there was a gay man, maybe forty, fifty, and he was like. There's no such thing as, like, bisexual. There's no such thing. You gotta choose your camp. You're either into men or into women. And so, even before entering a space that is supposed to be LGBT, but it's more like G, <laughs> obviously, um, there was already this negation of that experience. That's pretty crazy because, you, of course, you experience it in the straight world with your family and with your friends. They don't have a fucking clue how that can be. But to experience it in an LGBT environment. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know, maybe that has more to do with the age of the guy and the, the gay community. It's very... It's very exclusive like that. Men don't really have the right to be bisexual. They're either very gay or very straight. But for... I also saw that uh, women have a much higher chance of being assaulted when being bisexual, which definitely, I think, has played a part in my case. So, yeah, it's interesting to see these talks now of biphobia and everything. Thanks for watching.